Well, here we are outside the main entrance to Peninsula State Park at a place called Edge of Park Bike and Moped Rental. They got about 250 bikes to rent here, but I'm going to try the one that's made for two. It's a side-by-side -side recumbent bike called the Sociable. Let's check it out. Not wanting to pedal a two-seater all by myself, I asked my wife Natalie to join me for the ride. We strapped on some bike helmets, and Edge of Park owner Craig Lent gave us a few quick lessons on how to operate the sociable. Craig's best words of advice? We tell everybody, be sociable. <laughs> you gotta talk to each other. <laughs> After a bit more instruction from Craig, we were off to explore Peninsula State Park. The sociable does have to stay on paved roads, but there are plenty of great scenic roads in the park on which to travel. Our first stop was at Weeberg Point, which gave us some pretty views of the Fish Creek Harbor and Marina. After a rest and a bit of maneuvering, we were back on the road. Our next stop was at an informational sign just up the road that explained what the sedge meadow that was in front of us was all about. Then it was back at the pedals as we headed for a scenic shoreline overlook about a mile down the road. These scenic overlooks can be found all over Peninsula State Park and give you a glimpse at the variety of water-based recreation that's available. By this time, we were ready to turn around and head back to Edge of Park, but we enjoyed one more scenic stop where we spied a kayaker paddling his way up the peninsula's coastline. Other than some curious looks from people who hadn't seen this sort of two-seat bike before, or from a lack of all parties involved not doing their fair share of pedaling, we had a great time on the sociable. Rent it for yourself at Edge of Park Bike and Moped Rental at the main entrance to Peninsula State Park. Wanting to explore the scenic park a bit more on just two wheels, I headed across the street to Nordor Sport and Cyclery where I caught up with owner Brian Merkel. Brian, you obviously rent a lot of bikes here. Most people, are, I take it, are going into Peninsula State Park from here, right? A vast majority of the people do go over to Peninsula State Park. And in Peninsula State Park, you got the Sunset Bike Trail to ride on, uh, which is by far the most popular place to, to ride in the park. Intrigued, Brian hooked me up with a bike, and I was off to check out the Sunset Bike Trail and others for myself. Well, here at Peninsula State Park, they've got some fabulous bike trails, both on-road and off-road. So depending on what kind of bike you got and what kind of trail riding you like to do, they got something for you here. They also have some wonderful summer use and winter use maps here scattered throughout the park to help you not get lost. This particular trail is approximately nine and a half miles long and has a crushed limestone base making it a pretty smooth ride. It winds back and forth through the woods, up and down a few hills, and past Eagle Bluff Lighthouse, where I stopped to take a quick look around. Back in the saddle, I headed for a favorite spot of mine in the park called Sven's Bluff, which is located on Skyline Road. Well, here I am at Sven's Bluff. It was a bit of a hike, but well worth it. This has to be one of the most scenic spots here at Peninsula State Park. It's just an incredible view. Well, whether you're on a bike made for one or for two, biking is definitely a great way to explore Peninsula State Park and the rest of Door County. There's some fabulous trails here in the park and some great scenery to see along the way. You can either bring your own bike from home or simply rent one from one of the convenient bike rental places here on the peninsula. Either way, you gotta go biking here in Door County. We'll see you next time.